Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Faith. If this is your first time clicking onto this video or uh, bumping into my videos, kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed. And uh, thank you for the support that you have been giving me so far. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. You don't know, but you're my favorite person. Yes, and I would urge you to share and subscribe and uh, yeah, tell your friends and family about this channel. So today we are going to do something not very much different, but it's a recipe that I normally do once in a while. We are going to make a butternut soup. And I have already prepped all the ingredients. I thought of something to cook for my family for dinner and I thought, why not? Because I already had the butternut for quite some time. I bought it back, but I didn't know how to make this recipe. But after watching videos and learning more about it, I decided to do the recipe. So let me get to showing you the ingredients that you are going to use for the butternut soup recipe so guys these are the recipes that we have or these are the ingredients sorry that we are going to use this is the butternut of course then we have the cinnamon then i have two onions coconut cream which i already opened i thought it was hard to open but i just did it and uh made my way through it then in this uh, bowl i have how many tonnage in this i have uh what is it called garlic and uh what is this other one garlic and tangawizi yeah the person in the background is uh, correcting me yes then i have uh, the apple which is very very new and i think many of you are going to be uh, asking why I decided to use an apple but I saw Kaluhi's video on her butternut soup and uh, she recommended this and I said why should I not try it then we have salt so those are the ingredients of the day and it is very simple uh, let us start to cooking let me chop the onions then I put them on the pan then we start cooking So guys, I've already uh, placed the onions, uh, switched on the gas. Now I'm going to pour a little bit of uh, oil, not too much. Then I let the onions cook until they are brownish for just a few minutes. The oil is still not yet very hot, but in a few minutes it will be. Then let the onions cook until they are brown. Then I'm going to add salt to taste. Just a pinch, not too much and not too little. Still stirring until uh, the onion becomes brown. So, guys, if you have ever tried this recipe, kindly uh, comment down below. Tell me what you use and how you cook it. And also, if you love my recipe, you can also try it out. Then let me know in the description box down below. I'd really be happy to hear or uh, know some of you tried this recipe. Then uh, we will talk down in the comment section down below. So uh, the onions are still cooking. So guys, now we are going to add the garlic and the ginger because I believe any soup is not complete soup without those two ingredients. The onions have already become brown. So now um, in with the garlic and uh, what ginger. Mm, it's already smelling very nice. You can even start eating the onions and the garlic and the ginger. So once you add the garlic, 
and the ginger together with the onions. Yes, you now add the butternut. Then you mix it up so that the flavors are can uh, so that you can be able to get the ginger and the garlic flavor. Yes, I leave it there for a few minutes. Chop uh, the apple, then uh, I put it on top. Then add the cinnamon together with the coconut cream. Then uh, cover it for a few minutes, let it cook, then blend it. So, yes, allow me to chop the apple. So guys, I've already uh, chopped the apples. I'm going to add them to this. Then I'm going to uh, stir it. Then after that, add some uh, coconut cream, which is one of my favorite ingredients in all meals. Wow, looks so yummy. Finger licking. I'm already salivating. Mm, smells so good, divine. So I'm going to cover it for a few minutes let it cook oh we've forgotten to add the cinnamon i'm going to add the cinnamon just a little bit i would have also added uh, some uh, black pepper but because children are going to eat it so i'm not going to add the black pepper so i've added uh, a small amount of uh, cinnamon then i start so for the black pepper if uh, someone is interested in eating the black pepper they'll just add it on the table so i'm going to cover this for a few minutes then i'm going to be back then we will blend it so that we can make it uh, become more smooth so guys this is a uh, 10 minutes later i think less than 10 minutes yes and we are here to check on the butternut yes and i can see it is already very very ripe because it can be poked yes yes they are already very right so i'm going to switch off uh, the cooker once i've switched off the cooker i'm going to let it uh, cool down then afterwards i'm going to put it uh, into the blender i'm going to blend it so that it can be more smooth then i'm going to show you the, pro the process but in the meantime i'm going to show you what we are going to eat with with this soup so as this cools down i'm going to show you what we are going to eat uh, the accompaniment for this soup so guys in the meantime as we wait for the uh, soup to boil we are going to eat this uh, using uh, not using we are going to eat this the accompaniment to the soup is the uh, uh, chicken ham sandwich so it is very very simple i'm not going to add anything extra I'm just going to apply to apply my uh, blue bun or margarine. Some prefer using butter. Yes, but uh, right now I don't feel like using butter. You apply it on uh, the side, which is going to be on the toaster. The toaster is, is already warm. I had already switched it on earlier, like two minutes earlier. Then you apply it on this other side. The side which uh, you apply margarine or blue band on is the side that you put on top of the of the toaster so that it may not uh, burn. Then uh, this is the chicken ham. You can fold it or you can just put it uh, the way you prefer. This other one. Then you put it here. Then you take uh, the margarine again on the blue band. Then you apply it. Then the side which has the margarine is the one which becomes on top because you're going to close the, the toaster. Then uh, you also do the same to this other side. Then you put it here. Then you close the toaster. 
then uh, let it cook for a few minutes it is now lighting uh color red so once it is once it is on color green the sandwich will be ready so let us wait for it as we check on our soup so guys uh these are the sandwich they're already very ripe and they look so yummy yes so this is how they look it's only been five minutes and voila so let us now uh take the soup because i know it has already cooled down then we blend it then we serve our meal so guys i've already poured the soup into the blender it's a little bit warm and now i'm going to start so guys i already have the blended uh butternut soup here i'm going to pour it back into the sufuria that is all of it then after pouring it back i'm going to uh, switch on the gas I'm going to switch on the gas so that you can stir it to check uh whether it is very thick or not it's already uh, lit the gas so i'm going to check whether it is uh, thick or not sorry just something just dropped inside the soup yes i'm going to check whether it is thick or not but i can see uh to my satisfaction it is uh, very well blended so i'm just going to let it warm a little then i'm going to serve it with the uh, bread and we are going to enjoy this meal so so far so good if uh, you didn't have any dinner plans you can just buy this it's a very easy meal and that's something that is going to make you feel very full so an advice on this and it is very healthy yes it is not only meant for kids i know many people are going to say ah but i'm not, not soup it's ah no everyone can consume this and can eat this so yes i prefer eating this so I'm just going to serve it up, then we start eating. So guys, this is the soup. It is already very well cooked. I'm just going to pour it into this bowl. Just a little to taste. So guys, I've already served the soup. It looks very yummy. I've just garnished it with uh, dania. Is it dania or dania? Yes, I've already garnished it with dania. So we're going to do the test. Test. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. 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 Guys, you should try out this recipe. I'm not even lying. <laughs> this is bomb this is bomb not because i'm the one who has cooked this food but all here to queen faith for mm, trying out new recipes and making them come to pass so i'll add you to try out this recipe it won't fail you this is a few minutes later i'm very full i finished all that i had in my bowl so now i'm going to show you something that i recently purchased and i'm very ab happy about the purchase though i've not yet used it but um yeah saved some coins and uh yeah i really wanted to get this for so long but finally it is with me and i'm so happy about it so i'm going to show you and more recipes are going to come your way because of this so let me turn the camera around and show you what I got for myself. Guys, I bought uh, this cooker. Yeah, I have some food on top there. Don't mind. So I bought this cooker from Carrefour. They were running these offers. Yes, and I decided to get it. I'm going to show you a very nice or clear picture when it is uh, during the day. I'm going to show you. Yes, but I bought it for uh, an affordable price. It was uh, 
for going for 35k but i got it for around is it 26 or 29,000. so that was a steal so guys i'm so happy about this purchase and i thank god finally i get to have this and i get to do more recipes with you because i enjoy cooking so wait till i start using it you'll see more of it. so guys thank you so much for coming to this video that is the end of the video i hope you try out this recipe then comment down below and thank me later thank you so much for subscribing if you still haven't subscribed please do so please please so that we can grow our family thank you so much and bye bye till we meet again bye